look at mitosis in a little more detail. And usually I do this with licorice. So if you have black licorice and red licorice, it would be awesome to actually use this, but I don't have it because I eat it when I have it. I don't even have time to actually do the demonstration. I have no control. So when I buy licorice, it's gone. I consume it fast. In fact, I love black licorice. Okay, so we're going to look at just the DNA now. All right, so in mitosis, the DNA, remember, it is in the position, it looks like a double helix, right? So it's like a ladder, it's twisted. All that twisted, when the cell is getting ready to divide, which is mitosis, cell division, DNA is, it's not packed in tight. I mean, it's, it forms what's called chromatin, just DNA. That's like a bowl of spaghetti, kind of. All right, so if you think of a bowl of spaghetti, that's like chromatin. So all those strands of DNA, they're just loosely packed together. But before cell division, before cells divide, that DNA has got to be condensed. So it can be divided, all right? So it's condensed in what are called chromosomes. So all of this DNA then is going to, all this DNA is forms these chromosomes. And remember, they take on like an X morphology. So morphology, it's a study of the form or shape. They look like this. All this DNA, except obviously if it's a Y chromosome. But we're looking at non-sex chromosomes in this case. All right? They look like this. So I'm going to draw, I'm just going to simplify that and just draw like what looks like an X. So if you have licorice, you can have two pieces of licorice put together to make a chromosome, tie them together. So these are connected in the middle, right? If you have licorice at home, I highly recommend you do this. And if you don't, if you can get some, it'd be awesome. The black licorice, I'm gonna represent with the black marker, the red licorice with the red marker. Okay, now humans, remember, we have 23 pairs. So we have 46 total chromosomes in every one of our cells except for sex cells, remember, because they're haploid. They have half as much. Okay, so this cell, I'm not gonna, I'm not showing 46 chromosomes, okay? It's, I'm just gonna show four for the demonstration. Okay, but here we have a cell. The cell is getting ready to divide because it formed these chromosomes. Before this, it had what looked like spaghetti. Ready to divide, the DNA it looks more like this. We call this chromatin, like a bowl of spaghetti of DNA. This is normally what the cell looks like, what it looks like inside the nucleus of the cells. However, to get ready to divide, when the cell is ready to divide, this chromatin, all this DNA, condenses into what are called chromosomes. So these are chromosomes. Interface, the DNA is it looks like a bowl of spaghetti in the form of chromatin. Chromatin is the form that DNA takes in interphase. So interphase is when the cell grows and the DNA starts to replicate. It's getting ready to divide. But the, you don't see any chromosomes yet. Prophase now is a phase when the DNA starts to condense. This is a half, this is prophase now. Chromosomes appear. Okay, they're formed from chromatin. Next phase of the cell cycle then is called metaphase. Think middle meta, MM. Remember, we're to, this cell is going to divide into two. Right, so these, we have to make sure the DNA gets in each of the new two, the two cells that are going to be made, right? Same DNA, because we're looking at mitosis. So these chromosomes line up along the middle of the cell, right? So we line them up. So if you have your licorice, you've got, you made an X with black licorice, X with red, X with black, X with red. And maybe like a, a 
around those giant marshmallows and holding them together. Because these are connected. So these are the chromosomes. And then what's going to happen is they're going to be pulled apart. Okay? So metaphase, these are lined up and there's these, you don't really have to know the names of all these things. I'm just, there are these structures called spindle fibers that are going to, they connect to these chromosomes and they're the things that are actually going to pull the chromosomes apart. Look at the middle of the cell. So these are the first three phases of the cell cycle. And the next phase then is going to be where these chromosomes start to be separated because these spindle fibers shorten. Right, so what I usually do when I do a demo is tie string around a, each one of the, each piece of licorice. And then you're going to pull the string and pull them apart. Right? Anaphase is when the chromosomes are starting to be pulled apart. So you can see this was once an X, right? One half's pulled this way, one half's pulled that way. Same with these others. Okay, so anaphase is when the chromosomes are pulled apart. The, the next phase then, the next phase is, think about it now, we're going to make two cells. So we're going to keep pulling. The phase is called telophase. And the nuclei, which means more than one nucleus, are also formed. So I just drew, drew a dotted line to indicate it's forming, so the nucleus is being made. And sometimes you see the, the very last part included in telophase. And sometimes it's considered a separate phase. But the final part of the cell cycle is when these two actually separate and form two new cells. So this process in which really the cytoplasm splits is called cytokinesis. And the cytoplasm splits and two new cells are formed. And then after this, then that DNA can replicate, and then these cells can divide. All right, so, but if you, if you notice, these cells now, these are called daughter cells. And the original is a parent cell. And if we go back to looking at what the parent cell looked like, it looked like one of these. So this is like cloning of cells. And this is what happens when you grow. So remember, we all started out as a zygote. Just imagine that. We all started out as a fertilized egg. Each and every one of us. That's our first, our beginning of life. We were a fertilized egg. We are one cell, one egg cell that was fertilized. And then that cell divided, just like this. And then these, those two new cells divided, producing four cells. And then those divide, and so forth, and so forth. Kept dividing, dividing, and now we're made of trillions of cells. But it all really goes back to that zygote that divided. Um, and the process of mitosis. So please try this. Uh, do it your own demonstration with licorice if you can, with red and black licorice. And then showing uh, these steps, the phases of the cell cycle, which include interphase and mitosis. So cell division, we wouldn't be here without cell division, right? We'd still be zygotes. And who wants to be a zygote forever? Not me.